Hello everyone, I'm Drew Matt and today I will talk about how you can learn League of Legends macro gameplay by picking a roaming intensive champion such as Talia. This video is mostly targeted towards the players that are not really Talia OTPs and that want to learn how to improve their general game knowledge. One thing that everyone must know in League of Legends in order to increase rank fast is to understand general macro gameplay. Champions that are roamers such as Talia, Aurelion, Soul and Twisted Fate will surely help the player in understanding the macro game and general game strategy. By macro game I talk about any major strategical decision that is made over the course of the game in order to obtain resources or objectives towards the final goal, winning the game. Roamer champions are supposed to have a better understanding of the macro game because they usually have an ability that enables us to reach a destination faster than the average champion, ignoring teleport cases. Obviously, the new guy who just picks Talia up will suck for the first 30 to 50 games in micro and micro gameplay, but compared to someone else who just learns the battle mage such as Syndra, he will have more game awareness and control and could actually change their main easier than compared to the Syndra player. So understanding Talia and then understanding Syndra will be much more simple than understanding Syndra than understanding Talia in terms of macro gameplay and control. Obviously, these two champions are extremely different and serve different purposes such as Syndra winning the lane and Talia winning other lanes and just keeping your decently pushed. Climbing in ELO with roaming champions have been proved consistent by a lot of good players such as Dopa, Frogan, even Crown or KT Yuko. These champions are most effective in the higher tiers of the ladder starting from Platinum and up to High Challenger, however in lower ELO it requires exceptional thinking and micro game knowledge because of the teammates that are present in that specific ELO and their rather peculiar decision system. For someone whose diamond and starts a smurf in silver, it is obvious that his best option will be to play a simple champion with lots of AoE potential such as any, at least until gold 1 or platinum, because it is extremely easy to abuse it in mid lane to late game fights, but for someone who is not a smurf, picking a roaming champion can increase their skill in understanding the map and also giving him the edge in some games, increasing his current skill level compared to the others. So my recommendation to anyone who wants to race above their current league is to pick a roaming intensive champion, not necessarily Talia, and to practice it for at least 20 to 30 games in normals while using the practice tool 10 to 15 minutes a day for farming and combos. These tips are guaranteed to increase your elo by at least 1 to 3 divisions because doing them you understand more about the map presence, when and where to gank and roam, how to farm better, how to push, how to keep the lane even, how to play in nasty matchups such as Assassin and so on. Learning Talia is also good because it teaches you a lot about micro gameplay. You have 3 abilities that deal damage, all of them being quite mechanically intensive and complex. Her Q requires good positioning, for full Qs her WE combo can be cast in 2 ways and it also takes some good hours before hitting it consistently. Do an experiment. Buy roaming intensive champions such as Talia, Twisted Fate or Aurelian Soul and use it daily in normals and practice tool and when you feel ready, jump into ranked games and see how you fare in your current league. Again, the gameplay is vastly different from the other champions and in tough lanes you just have to push and survive. You don't have to fight the enemy mid laner, you can just stick into your tower till your roaming ability comes available. Get the vision words and sweepers and you are good to go. This kind of champions will teach you both micro and macro in a faster way than the average champion, so I truly recommend to anyone to try it. Also, if you somehow picked Talia, please check out my Talia guide. Goodbye!